In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can create this simple mountain range logo using Procreate for the iPad. So let me go back to my gallery and open up a new document. I'm going to tap the plus icon over here and I'm going to create a new square canvas. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle. So I'm going to grab my selection tool over here and I want to choose ellipse selection. And then I want to swipe on my canvas to create an ellipse. And I want to use my index finger for my other hand to hold a tap on the canvas so we get a perfectly round circle like that. Now I'm going to fill that circle in with a color. So let me take my colors menu over here and choose a color to work with. I'm going to go with a pink shade like this. And then I'm just going to drag and drop that into the circle. And there we go. Now we have a colored circle. So let's remove the selection. Let's grab the move tool over here and let's turn on snapping. Make sure right here where it says snapping, tap on that and make sure you have snapping enabled right there. And then we can use, we can move the circle to the center of the page and have it snap directly in the center of the page. There we go. Now we're going to duplicate that. So let's tap on the layers menu and let's swipe this to the left and tap duplicate. And let's fill this one with a different color. I'm going to go with the shade of orange for this one. I already have my colors picked out over here in the palette, but you can use your color selector to choose an orange shade that matches this one here or close enough and just drag that into there. And now we're going to use the select tool and scale this one down a little bit, make this one smaller. And then we'll snap that to the center of the page as well. So just move that over to the center until it snaps both vertically and horizontally. And now we're going to duplicate it again. So let's go back to the layers menu, swipe to the left, tap duplicate. And we're going to make this one yellow. So I have my shade of yellow picked out already. Choose a yellow shade, something on the lighter side like that. And just bring that in there like that. And now we can grab our selection tool and scale this one down as well. And now we're going to snap this one to the center of the canvas. And then we're going to create another one. So let's swipe to the left, duplicate. And then finally, we'll make this one white. This one's going to be the sun and it will be directly in the center and it'll be the smallest of the circles. Let me make this even smaller and I'll move that to the center, make sure I snap it. And now I'm just gonna go back through my other circles and just make sure they're sized accordingly. Like for example, I could make uh, this yellow circle a little bit smaller. So let me tap on that one through the layers menu, grab my selection tool and I'll make that a little smaller, just a little bit, not too much. The idea is we wanna have roughly an equal amount of spacing between each of these rings. Now that that's done, let's create the mountain range. So let me deselect it. Let me come over here to my layers menu and select the top layer and then click the plus icon right here to add a new layer on top of it. And now I'm going to go back to my selection tool. Only this time we're going to choose rectangle over here. And now I'm just going to click and drag to draw a rectangle. Like that. I'm going to grab a dark blue shade. And I'm going to drag that into the rectangle. And now we have a dark blue rectangle. Let's release the selection. Let's go to our select tool and rotate this 45 degrees, just like that. And I'm going to move this over towards the center of the page. Now we're going to duplicate this. So let's go to the layers menu, swipe this to the left, duplicate, and we'll fill this one with a lighter shade of blue. So grab a lighter shade of blue from your selection there, and then just drag and drop that in there. Now we can grab the selection tool and scale this down a little bit. We want to make sure we have it centered up. What we're paying attention to is this area right here. I'm going to zoom in on this. Oh, you know what? Let me undo that. I'm going to zoom in on this over here. We're paying attention to the spacing between the light blue and the dark blue here. It's going to represent somewhat of an offset. So we want to make sure that we have it positioned correctly. Maybe right about there looks pretty good. And now, whoops, if you make a mistake like I did just there, you could just tap with two fingers to undo it. Now, let's remove part of this so that it looks like uh, snow on the top of the mountain. So I'm going to grab my eraser tool, which is over here. And I'm going to adjust the size of my brush a little bit. I don't want that big. And I'm going to rotate this around a little bit. It may make it a little easier. And I'm going to, with my brush, swipe across like that and then, and then down like that. And then I'm going to hold the tap while I'm doing that so we get nice straight lines. Now I have a little bit of a notch in my corner there, so I don't like how that came out. I'm going to try that again. Let me undo that a couple of times by tapping with two fingers. Let me try to draw that again. Okay, that one didn't come out any better. I'll try that again. It may take a few tries as I'm doing here. There we go. That looks a lot better. That's more aligned with what I'm going for. And now I'm going to make my eraser brush a little bigger. Well, I'm going to make it a lot bigger, actually. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to erase some of this area in here just to make this gap between the two of them bigger. 
And now what we can do is we can go back to our selection tool, use the freehand setting, and create a freehand selection going around the rest or the bottom half of that light blue mountain over there. And with that selected, we can come over here to the Actions menu and go to Cut. And there we go. That's the effect we're going for right there. So let's go to our Layers menu. Let's tap on this layer that we're working on right now and merge that down so that it becomes one with the layer beneath it. And now I'm going to grab my Selection tool. Let me straighten out my canvas here. And I'm going to move this down over the sun here. I'm going to put the peak. I want to make sure the peak, we have the peak in the center there like that. And I'll make this a little smaller. I'm going to scale that down. We want this to fit inside of the circle a little better. And now I'm going to make duplicates of this mountain here. Let me actually make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now we're going to make duplicate copies of this mountain here and stack them next to each other. So let me go to my uh, actions menu or my layers menu over here. Swipe that to the left and duplicate. And then make this one smaller. And then place it over here to the side like that. And now we can do the same thing again. I'm going to left click this left swipe, duplicate, and then grab the selection tool and move this one over here to the right. So now we have three mountains there like that. And I may even take this one and move it towards the bottom. I'm gonna hold a tap over it to change its position in the stacking order here. Let me try that again, there we go. Now I'm gonna move this down. I want this layer layered beneath the larger mountains. Now we have that effect there. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna, I'm going to swipe, actually no, swipe right on each of these so we have all three of them selected and tap group, and then collapse the group, and then tap on the new group and go to flatten. So now it's one solid mountain range like that. And now what we wanna do is we wanna eliminate the area that protrudes from the circle there. So let me zoom in on this so we can see it a little better. And to do this, I'm gonna create an inverted selection from this large pink circle in the background. So let me go back to the layers menu. Let me select on the pink layer, and let me go to the selection menu and I'm gonna tap on automatic. And then I'm gonna tap once inside of the circle and it's gonna create a, a selection around that circle. Let's invert that selection now by tapping the invert button right here. And now we will select the mountain range layer and go to the actions menu and tap cut. And just like that, it should remove that area that protrudes from the circle. So the final step now would be to create another white circle going in the background and a drop shadow beneath it. Sort of like, uh, I'll show you what I mean here. If you notice on my design, I have that white ring going around the background, kind of like an offset and then the drop shadow beneath it. So let's go and create that effect. Let me come back over here into what I'm working on. And for this, I'm going to turn off the visibility of the background layer. We're gonna to wanna to be able to see what we're doing behind that. And I'm going to create a new layer and I'm gonna move this new layer all the way to the bottom, just above the background layer and then close that menu. Or you know what, my mistake for this to work, I'm gonna to have to turn the background layer back on. So let me turn that back on. And now I'm gonna create another selection. I'm going to use the ellipse setting and I'm gonna tap and swipe and hold a tap with my index finger so we have a nice perfectly round circle just like we did previously. And we want this circle to be the largest of all of them so make sure that's larger. And I'm gonna come back up here to my color menu and I'm gonna choose white and I'm gonna fill that in with white. And I'll release the selection and now we can turn off the background layer and then use the selection tool over here to center this up. And if yours is a little too big like mine is, you may even want to scale it down. I'm going to scale mine down a little bit. I want this to be slightly bigger than the logo itself, just a little offset. And then I'll snap it to the center. And now I'm going to duplicate it. So let's swipe to the left, go to duplicate, select the bottom copy, and then let's fill this one with black. So I'll make my fill color black and I'll just drop that in there. I'll grab my selection tool. Let's turn on the visibility of the background layer. And now I can just move this down a little bit. You know what, let me grab my selection tool. I can move this down a little bit, just like that. And then go to adjustments. And we're going to choose Gaussian blur. And I'll give this a Gaussian blur like that. And now we're gonna to go to the layers menu. The Gaussian blur is going to be really intense. So let's go to the layers menu and tap on this N icon right here and then bring down the opacity of it so that's not so it's not so stark. Maybe something like that looks pretty good. Maybe a little less. There we go. And what we could do now is you can group everything together. So you can swipe everything to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. Swiping to the right selects multiple layers. And we can create a group from them by tapping the group button up there. And now 
we have a group of layers that make up our logo. And if we want, we can disable that and turn it back on and so on and so forth. You could turn off the background, export it as a PNG and use it however you'd like. You could even add some text in there. So that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create that simple mountain range logo using Procreate for the iPad.